Welcome to The Tonight Show. I'm Jimmy Fallon. As of this morning, we planned to do a show with a full audience, but as the day progressed and the more we thought about it, we and NBC decided it would be smarter to not have an audience in order to do our part to help decrease the spread of the coronavirus. Like you, I'm watching the news and I'm just as confused and, and freaked out as you are. Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus outbreak declared a global pandemic. Officially declaring a global pandemic, tonight the World Health Organization says it's deeply concerned by the alarming spread of the coronavirus and the levels of inaction to stop it. Hi guys, uh, this is Jimmy Fallon and this is the uh, Tonight Show Home Edition, I guess you can call it. I, we really don't know what this is. Hi, this is Jimmy Fallon. I'm coming to you from my home. We did a show from here a year ago. Before it was a show, it was my home. So welcome to our show. Uh, let's get ready. New York, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, but loud and clear, Jimmy. It's so bizarre uh, shooting the show from home again. And the crazy thing is that this is all built. And look how beautiful this is. And look at these cameras. And teleprompters and microphones and I had none of this. I was just speaking into my phone and Nancy was the director. Here I am because you don't have anyone else to interview in our household. <laughs> she was uh, the producer and she would like be the scout for a shot. She would say, honey, the light is so perfect right now. Let's go do a bit and the, you know, and I go, okay. She was a good partner. It was fun. Really? You don't want to hear Mary had a little lamb? <laughs> Time. But we can do all. We've we got time all for all of it. Uh oh, what's oh no, you know I don't like one animal and one animal only. Oh uh -oh. my goodness. My kids were great co-stars. No, they weren't. They were they were touching pressing the wrong buttons. Franny was booing me. I didn't know where they learned that. Yay! We'll be right back with the more produced version of the Tonight Show at Home Edition. All the stuff that goes into the show that uh, I, you know sometimes take for granted. I'm on my way to PC Richards to get a tripod for my phone. I don't know what for. I'm proud of the shows we did at home. I'm proud of uh, all the money we raised. I'm proud of. Uh, the bits that we ended up doing. We did a full sketch where I, we, I did Tiger King. We sang with Sting. Um, I'm so proud of that. I'm proud of uh, all my friends that came through for me and, and did the show when they had nothing to promote. Everyone just came to help. And it was at a time where we're all we're looking for something to escape or we're looking for someone to say like, hey, we're going through this. I got blue balls. You were frozen, <laughs> you were frozen holding your balls. Nah, she's super cool and, like, love the show. One time, my friend sent me this thing, and one... I'm sorry, somebody was trying to call me. Maybe I need to convince my wife, who doesn't like to be on camera, to maybe answer a couple questions. Maybe. Honey? Come on. Come on honey. Make them good. I need guests. I need guests. This is the Tonight Show uh, at home edition. I'm in my tent, obviously. I think I did it. That's as good as I'm going to get. Back to you. And I don't even know if this is usable. <laughs> Of course, everyone's been out buying supplies, personally. I recommend CVS, they got what you need. And every receipt is a week's worth of toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper. <laughs> People I'd see at the grocery store or something like, my family and I used to watch your shows just to get through that and, and realize that you're going through the same thing we're going through. Uh, I didn't really feel that immediate feedback as we're doing the show, clearly, because we're focusing on the show, but months later, um, to see how it affected people and touched people made me feel really, really great. I can see slowly a hint of light at the end of a 365 day long tunnel. <laughs>